And finally, if you want to export and get the full running configuration from the pan, which is basically doing a configuration backup of our firewall, then this is what we can do. So we'll go ahead and close this up here. We're going to do a copy of this running config. You'll copy that request right here. And we're going to call this one run config, but we're going to call it export. And then I'll show you the difference between this one and the other one. There is a difference. Okay, so for that one, the base is still the same, but HTTPS, firewall, and then our API. But for the type, it needs to be export. And the action key and its value is not required for this, but we need to specify a new key and value pair called category. And for its value, it needs to be configuration which essentially means that we want to export and get the configuration of our firewall. And that's it. So we want to make sure that we have the get method, authentication, headers and bodies not required. So let's go ahead and send this request. And perfect. So that shows our full configuration of our appliance. So what is the difference between this one and this one? So if I run this one right here, the configuration is embedded within the response itself. So if I send this one more time, there's our config, but it is embedded within the response and the results tags. So you simply just can't upload that to your firewall manually if you want that. That's why this one here with the export, that is the full config that you definitely want to keep as a backup. So that's why I want to show you both methods of what that looks like.